With the stroke of his pen, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell signs into law the legislation that will place the transportation levy on the November election ballot. The levy focuses on increasing safety, maintenance, and modernization of Seattle's transportation infrastructure. And prevent traffic collisions, severe injuries, and fatalities on our streets. Clearly, the decision makers in crafting this levy understood that everyone who lives and works or visits Seattle, they must feel safe and comfortable door to door. The package in total is $1.55 billion. The top projects include $403 million to fund street maintenance and $221 million in bridge infrastructure. $193 million to build 350 new blocks of sidewalks and walkways and make repairs. The levy also plans to install new traffic lights and signals, expand the bicycle network, and improve the city's freight transportation system. We have heavier loads on the road. We have more traffic than we ever have before because the population here has grown exponentially. And now we need to ensure that the infrastructure of the city catches up with the new population. But paying for all the new improvements will come out of the pockets of taxpayers. Under this levy, the estimated cost for the median homeowner is about $44 per month, $21 per month more than the expiring levy. City leaders say they recognize the price hike is asking a lot from voters. But when we give people the facts, I firmly believe that when we explain what the need is and what the investments are, people will agree that voting yes to move Seattle is indeed the only reasonable option. City Council unanimously passed the transportation levy package Tuesday. Nine in favor, none opposed. The bill passes its amended and the chair will sign it. Levy Committee Chair Rob Saka says he hopes Seattle voters will also support it. This transportation levy is about us investing in our people. City leaders say this levy will also expand the Department of Transportation's budget. This would increase SDOT's opportunity for more cruise services, new projects, and new jobs. We have more details on how that money will be spent on our website at fox13seattle.com. Back to you. Frankie, thank you so much.